Hi, I'm Yara Shahidi. And I'm Charles Melton. We're here with Teen Vogue, and we're going to talk about some of the most popular ideas about love. Like, is love at first sight even a thing? Let's find out. True. I, I think so, yeah. right? I was thinking about a magnet. <laughs> oh, we're getting scientific here. Yeah, if you're scientifically looking at it, opposites attract. But I think opposites attract. This one is false, even though 80% of people believe this to be true. Research consistently tells us that we're attracted to people who are similar to us. Crazy. I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? Because if we all think opposites attract, but we're genuinely looking for someone that's just like ourselves. Yeah, like <laughs> driven and determined and ambitious. <laughs> You're just listing off your character traits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to find someone like me? Can we go to the next one, please? <laughs> I believe in that. Not to say that you don't have to work for them, but the things that come to you are the ones that are supposed to be with you, and the things that leave you are supposed to go to other people. I couldn't have said it any better. False. As a poet, I love to play with the idea that what's meant to be might not be, because impossible loves make the best stories. I think it's easy to fall in love, but it's hard to stay in it. You know, it takes work, right? I think both of our characters believe that what's meant to be is meant to be, yeah. but have different approaches to Definitely. it. Definitely. With Natasha, you had more of a logical approach. Yeah, right? where it's like, I think what's meant to be is meant to be because I believe in science and gravity. Daniel believes in loftier ideas that she can't even fathom. His heads were in the clouds a little bit. He was going mm -hmm. by something unexplained. Or I'm like something overly explained. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a scientific reason to say that it is. But I also believe that there's like a hopeful curiosity. Our characters definitely make yeah. that true. Daniel falls in love with Natasha. And Natasha takes some convincing. He uses a scientific approach. He kind of speaks to her convince language. convince her that love at first sight yes. is a thing. This is actually true. We are automatically, biologically wired to size people up in a second or less. I hate to brag, but I did take one excelled science class in high school. What science? <laughs> I mean, scientific, I'd have to say false. <laughs> I'm going both on this one. I believe that the one you're with, the one that you choose to be with, is the one. But a lot of people think they do. That's like the leap of faith, right? Trusting in the fact that this person that they're with is the love of their life. It's love, Yara. It's love. False. We're always changing. So love moves, it grows, it's fluid. When you fall in love, even with the same person, for this to last, you need to fall in love with them again and again and again with every passing year, every passing month, because they're changing as a we. I think it's pretty sad to put the odds against yourself in believing and falling in love. I think it's more depressing to say only one true person exists. Yes, I mean like look, I've had, I don't know, like seven soulmates, okay? <laughs> I've had real? seven soulmates. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, just hopelessly in love. <laughs> I would love for this to be true. Statistically speaking, it would be nearly impossible to meet your one true love. Yeah, okay. Put that in an equation. I don't believe in it. I mean, quite honestly, I wasn't surprised by how much I knew. I wasn't surprised that you knew the logic and the science behind everything. Look at you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Teen Vogue. Thanks, Teen Vogue. You guys are amazing. <laughs>